Okay, so for today's lesson, you want to go to page 769 in your textbook. So pause the video and get that out. Um, we're going to be talking more about um, square roots with polynomials. Um, and the question is, can extracting the square root also be used for expressions containing a variable and a constant term that are squared? So we consider this e equation. This is the variable, x. Your constant's negative 1, and it's squared. Can we find the value of x? And we can, because if you remember, um, squared means times itself. So this really means it's x minus 1 times x minus 1, which is a quadratic, making a parabola. But we can simplify that into um, x minus 1 squared. And we talked about yesterday how um, when you have something to the second power, that gives you the perfect square. And when you square root it, it takes you back down to the base number that was squared. And um, we can do the same thing here with, here with uh, polynomials. It's the second power. So we can square root it, but with equations, what you do to one side of the equals, you must do to the other. So if we're going to square root this side, we have to square root this side, as I've done right here. And then remember, we have that plus or minus, because remember, a negative times a negative is a positive. So this answer can be plus or minus the square root of 17. So the square root of x minus 1 squared is just x minus 1, just like the square root of two square, 4 was 2. And then um, this is not a perfect square, so we're going to leave it like this. At this point, we have to solve for x, so we want to add 1 to this side. So um, this will equal 0, as it does right here. And we're left with just x. And then we have 1 plus or minus the square root of 17. And then here, they went ahead and took their calculator. And they put in um, the square root of 17, which they got this, and they rounded to the tenths. And so they said 1 plus or minus that. So we're going to do it both ways. We're going to do 1 plus 4.12, and that gave you 5.12. And then we can do 1 minus 4.12, and that gave you the negative 3.2. So you're going to do it with the plus. That just means 1 plus 4, oops, 0.12. And that means 1 minus 4.12. So the plus or minus gives us two different problems. So let's go ahead and try that down here. Determine the approximate solutions for each of the given equations. So again, we can see it's already factored for us. It's to the second power. So I can square root this side and square root this side. Once I square root this side, the square root of r plus 8 squared is just r plus 8. And then we have plus or minus the square root of 83. Now, 83 isn't a perfect square. So I want to solve for r now. So I'm going to subtract 8. Gives me 0 here. And I put minus 8 here. Now, square roots are like like terms. You can't put them together unless they're exactly the same. So um, here I'm going to have r. I'm going to bring down my equals. And it's going to be negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 83. Um, and so then we want to give approximate solutions here. So I'm going to get my calculator and clear that out. And then I'm going to do negative 8 minus the square root of 83. And again, um, we'll say r equals, and we'll round that to... Um, negative 17.11. Remember, we're, and this is, we're finding the roots of this r. We're finding where it crosses the x-axis. And then we're going to do the other one. Um, and again, I can do my, um, I can do second enter, which brings the same exact thing I put in, and I can just play, change it to plus, and I get 1.11. So my roots of this parabola are, it's going to cross the x-axis at negative 17.11, and, and positive 1.11.
Okay, so now I would like you to try B on your own. Pause the video and try B. And then here's some um, more practice with what we did yesterday, where we want to take this and we want to find two multiple, two factors of 18, preferably a perfect square. So here we have the square root of 9 times the square root of 2 is 18. I know the square root of 9 is the positive number 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So I'm going to simplify this to 3 times the square root of 2. Okay? And I want you to complete um, B and C on your own. And then I have a little extra credit for you. We have a superhero Batman theme this week. So um, on this web page, you see that they were able to graph Batman. Um, I want you to, for your extra credit, name the different functions, types of function families that are in by these different colors. Also, if you want to pause the video and scroll down and read about this, and look at the types of equations that were put in to create this Batman. It was quite complicated, um, but that should tell you what kind of functions are in here as well by just looking at these equations. Okay, so for extra credit tomorrow, tell me which color and which function families they represent, because there's a lot in here. And then you might want to go ahead and look at the equation they made to graph this. You can even try to duplicate this into your own calculator and see if your calculator will graph Batman for you. Good night.